Hello, welcome to another edition of Home Hangouts. I'm Mark, I'm a ranger with the city of Peoria, and today we will be talking about the Palo Verde tree, which in Spanish literally means green stick. And as you can see, the reason why they call it that is not only are its stems and leaves green, but also its bark. And the reason for that is during the dry season, when the tree drops its leaves, it produces energy through the process of photosynthesis with the chlorophyll in its bark. This particular species of Palo Verde is the little leaf, uh, but there's another species called the blue Palo Verde, which is the Arizona State tree. The Palo Verde is a bean-bearing or leguminous tree, and the Native Americans of the past have been known to use the beans to grind up for a meal or flour. It is a relatively uh, soft wood. It doesn't make good wood for burning or building. And occasionally, if a storm comes in or the monsoons, you'll see branches fall off. And a lot of that has to do with the way that we maintain these trees. They grow really fast and they absorb a lot of water. And, but when we prune it like this, here, here, and here, what happens is the bark gets overexposed to sunlight, which can weaken it. Here's another example of a Palo Verde. As you can see, it's unpruned and in more of its natural state. Usually when it's pruned, they clear up these lower branches and it gives it more of a tree-like uh, perspective. However, now the branches are allowed to grow down, which are protecting its bark, and it's more, of, more like a shrub than it is a tree. This example, you can see it has these tiny little leaves, which when it gets really dry will drop these and produce most of its energy through cl with chlorophyll uh, from its bark, its green bark. I love this tree, it, uh, it's beautiful. And uh, again, thank you for another issue of Home Hangout.